Hey there folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun here, and I was planning on doing this video out at the range, but I'm in Wyoming and the wind was not cooperating at all. So we're just going to do it inside the home gym. Today we're going to talk about a topic that should be covered in every range safety briefing. Now we've talked about this before, but it's been a while, so I felt it was time for a refresher. Now, I know you guys are probably very conscientious and you apply the four universal firearm safety rules. You probably teach them in your schools. That's fantastic. But there's another rule that's not really covered by the four universal safety rules because, well, quite frankly, gravity has a big part to do with it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you fumble a gun, if you have a student that fumbles a gun, you say, well, they'll let it go because that's the smart thing to do. Let it go and let it fall onto the ground, not snatch at it. Ha! Do your students know that it's okay if they fumble the gun? Remember, fumbling a gun is not something they did on purpose. It's an accident. Their hands are sweaty. They're trying to go fast. They're nervous. Whatever. It doesn't matter. They lose control of the gun. The gun starts to fall. Now, in that split second, that moment of time, that fraction of a second, if they believe, if they've already been preconditioned that dropping a gun is a safety violation and that they'll be either mocked or punished for dropping a gun, they're not going to stop to think, what would I do if this gun was turned sideways and I grabbed it and it went off? No, they're not going to think about that. They're going to think in that fraction of a second, if the gun hits the ground, I'm either going to be punished, it's going to be a safety violation, or I'm going to be mocked by my peers. So I can't let that happen. That exact circumstance happened under a training command, at a training command that I was working for as a military contractor. A military reservist, it was a Navy reservist, was getting ready to deploy to go overseas. And he had, uh, well, he has M9 Beretta. They were on the range. And they were going through a transition drill, and the Navy makes them shoot two rounds right-handed, then switch and shoot two rounds left-handed. No big deal, right? Well, this gentleman was, he shot two rounds, and then he went to switch it to his left hand. He lost control of it. It started to fall. Now, keep in mind, he had just fired two rounds, right? And it's a Beretta, so what does that mean? That means that the hammer's back, and it's on single action. He lost control of the gun. He fumbled it. And instead of just opening his hands like it was a kitchen knife or a pocket knife or something and letting it drop to the ground, he reached out to grab it. Why? Because in the military, for years, decades, centuries, if you drop a gun, you're either A, punished, or A and B, ridiculed by your peers. So in that moment in time, he made the decision to grab at it. He grabbed at the gun. The gun was inverted. He grabbed at it, it fired one single round of 9mm, passed straight through his heart, and he was dead before he left the range. Why? Because no one had ever told him, hey, if something happens, it's an accident, gravity gets a hold, you know, doesn't, that's, you know, that's the world. Sometimes gravity takes a hold and things fall. Let it go. In the military, you know, part of the institutionalized stupidity is they never would tell him to do that. As a matter of fact, if you drop the gun, they punish you. They pull you off the line as a safety violator. So what did that make people do? What made people snatch at fumbled guns? Ladies and gentlemen, if you were using a modern, well-made firearm, Beretta, Glock, Smith & Wesson, whatever, it, is, it has a drop safe. You say, well, what if I let it go and it hits the ground and it fires? Okay, it hits the ground and it fires. Where's the bullet? If it goes BAM, it's down here by your shins and feet, right? Not a great thing, probably not going to go off. Chances of it going off are pretty infinitesimal. However, if you are in the process of shooting, or you've just drawn the gun and something happens, let's say it's like this, and I'm like, oh, and I snatch it and it fires. Where's the bullet go? Oh, it goes into my neighbor Jim, or like this or like this, it's not worth the risk. 
Tell your shooters, part of your range safety brief should be the four universals, right? Then any of the bologna sausage that your range has, yellow painted lines or whatever. And then you need to give people permission to drop a fumbled gun. Tell them, if you lose control of your gun by accident, you whatever, you fumble a gun, open your hands and let it fall. Do not snatch at it, all right? It doesn't happen very often, but how many times do you have to be negligently shot for it to ruin your day? Only one time, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.